everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. So a little while ago, a company called Honeybum reached out to me. They sent me an email and they were wondering if I wanted to collab. I guess I've been living under a rock because I had no idea who they were. I went on their Instagram account, saw they had what, a million followers, and I took a screenshot and I put it on my story and I was like, hey guys, has anyone ever heard of this brand? They want me to do a review for them. The amount of DMs that I got saying, oh my god, I love Honey Bum, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was like, wow, <laughs> I really, uh, I'm a bit behind on the trends these days, aren't I? <laughs> you know, I, I mostly pay attention to Korean brands, Japanese brands, a lot of Asian online retailers because that's my aesthetic. Like this is from my Yes Style haul that I posted the other day. This is the sort of stuff that I like to wear and it looks as though Honey Bum is quite similar to Fashion Nova. It's really curvy and sexy and great for going out clubbing, things like that. So it's not exactly my style. So what I did, instead of picking things that I wanted, I decided to have another episode of Your Weeby, which is You Wanted It, I Bought It. So I went on my Instagram story and I said, okay guys, I'll do the Honey Bum collab. Please DM me the things that you want me to buy. The requests that everyone sent through, they were great. And I'm actually really glad that you guys managed to find these items because when I went on the site, I typed in pastel and nothing came up. So I was kind of like, it, this website's a write off. But you guys managed to do some digging and you found some really, really awesome pieces. So without further ado, let's get into this parcel. So this is 500 US dollars worth of stuff, which is maybe six or 700 Australian dollars. It seems a little bit more pricey than what I would usually pay. And I believe that these items are also made in America. I think that they're made in Los Angeles. So we'll see if there's a big difference between the quality of the products made in America versus the quality of products made in China, for example, where a lot of my clothes are from. Archie looks like he's pretty keen to get into this, aren't you? Yes? Uh, if you don't know, this is Archie. He's my feathered son. Yes, he's a bird. Yes, he's real. Uh, yes, he screams. So if you're not prepared to listen to half an hour of a screaming bird, then I suggest that you click off now. You know it's gonna be a good video when the first thing in the box is pink. Archie. So these first items, they come, it's a set, but they come separately. So this is a pink denim jacket and a pink denim skirt. On the website, the jacket is $49 and the skirt is $36. So to me, I think for denim, that's okay, but it is a little bit more than what I would normally pay. However, if we put this on and it's absolutely amazing, then I think it'd be worth it. Here's the skirt, looks like a pretty good length. Pockets on the back are nice big pockets, so they would at least fit your phone. And it's got pockets on the front, so that's major bonus points for me. I absolutely love it when skirts have pockets. <coughs> the jacket is cropped. That looks really, really pretty. This is such a nice shade of pink. It feels like it's very well made. I love the length of this one. I think that this is going to look really, really good. On the website, they paired it with this white lacy bralette. I wanted to get that, but it was sold out. I have really high hopes for this set. I think it looks great. Okay, well, here's this set. I have immediately fallen in love with it. The colors are perfect. The skirt fits really nicely. I feel like the sizing is quite accurate. The jacket is amazing too. It is really comfortable and I really really like the length of the crop. It's really flattering. I've just put this on with just like a white bandeau top that I got from Romwe. This outfit, I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot. The jacket is really really warm and then you don't have to just wear it with the jacket. You can also just wear the skirt on its own and I feel like the skirt would be really really flattering with a whole bunch of different outfits. What do you think Archie? Do you like it? This one, I would say, is worth the money. Like, this is $36 for this skirt and $49 for the jacket. I do think it's worth it. The skirt is made very nicely. The jacket is beautiful. I love the colour so much. I think it's perfect. So, yeah, this one is definitely a pass for me. I love it. Do you like it, Archie? Archie! Ah. 
This next one is called the Out of This Town Dress. Now this fabric is really, really different to what I thought it was going to be on the website. Just look at this picture. Like, I think that this looks like a really thick, shapely fabric. Whereas this, see how this is very, very crinkled? It's very soft and I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I did think that it was going to be a bit different to this. I do really like the eyelets here and it looks like it does up nicely at the back too but I'm just not such a fan of how crinkled this is. I'm not very good when it comes to ironing clothes. I love clothes that you can just pull off the hanger and they're fine, like they're not creased. They're not, they're not crinkled or anything like that. I like that sort of fabric. This is very, very crinkly, so that's not so great for me. This is $36, so I think for $36 I did expect a nicer fabric than that, but I'll have to see what the shape of it looks like on. It might look really, really nice. Design-wise, I am a fan. Fabric-wise, not so much. The double layer is great because it means that you can't see my undies at all, so it is very comfortable too, but I just feel like they could have done so much more with this. This design is lovely, and I feel like if this had been in some sort of thicker material that would hold its shape without crinkling, then it would be perfect. I think this neckline is lovely, and I love these little details here. So it is very stylish and flattering. I think it's great for summer. I don't know if it's worth $36, but if you do like the design a lot, then maybe $36 is justifiable. $28 would be better. $36 is just that little tiny bit too much, but it is a really nice dress. It's very pretty and the color is really, really nice too. Here's how it does up at the back. So it's got this bow here, which is very pretty, very feminine. It's fitting me quite nicely too. So yeah, this one's okay. Okay. This is called the On The Edge Denim Set. I was really, really excited by this. It's not the sort of thing that I would usually wear. However, I'm such a big fan of high-waisted, wide-legged pants, yeah. and that's exactly what these are. It's a bit darker than my sort of color palette, but I think that's okay. Like, this seems really bold and really awesome. It feels really luxurious, it looks really expensive. And then here's the crop top. The crop is kind of like a halter neck and it crosses over at the back and does up in a bow. I'm really, really excited to try this on. The model looks like she's a bit shorter than me though, so I hope that these long pants actually do come right down to my feet because if they were sitting above the ankle, I don't think that that would look so great. This is a $48 set. I think for $48 for a two-piece set, it's all right. It's not actually denim. It's just like a faux imitation denim. So I'm not sure if $48 is okay for that. I'll have to try it on and see. Okay, I had to take my bra off for this one because it was hanging out from underneath the crop. I feel like the crop is just the tiniest bit too short. It is a really, really nice design. Unfortunately, the pants don't have pockets. I feel like that is such a huge, huge disappointment because it would just be so nice to just put your hands in the pockets and just lounge around and be like, yeah, look at me, I'm so swanky, I'm so luxurious. For the price that you're charging, you should probably put some pockets in there, that, that would have been nice. But the pants are really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if you can see just how long they are, but they are very long and they're touching my feet, which is great. And I do love the wide leg pants as well. I don't think I'll be getting any wear out of this though because the top doesn't fit properly and there's no pockets on the pants. So I think I'll probably end up selling this on Depop. But I feel like some people would really, really like this one. I don't know if I think it's worth the price or not. Like if you've been looking for a set like this all your life and you're like, that's it, that's perfect, then yes, it's definitely worth $48. But for me, I wouldn't go out of my way to pay $48 for this. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is nice? I think it's all right. What do you think? Is this worth $50? What do you reckon? Oh, I, I think Archie actually thinks it's worth it. So I'm just not sure. What do you reckon? <gasps> this is the Monday pullover sweater. Now on the website, it did look a slightly different color. <coughs> Don't think that it looked quite so purple. Now I got this because the other <laughs> last time that I did a haul with clothing that had uh, days written on it, I had this fiasco. 
I didn't even notice until I posted the video and then I started getting all of those comments and I was like, oh my gosh, that was a missed joke opportunity right there. I couldn't believe that I missed that. We're not gonna have that same turd problem with Monday, but we'll, we'll see how it looks on because the word can kind of like be obscured by your arms, so we'll see. This is a $29 sweater and I think for this that is fantastic because this is very, very, very thick. Like this feels so luxurious, I can't even begin to explain. So I think that's worth it for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I put this on with nothing on underneath because I wanted to feel how it felt against my skin. Often this sort of fabric can irritate my skin, but it's perfect. I think it's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so soft, I'm gonna wear this so much, although I can only really wear it on Monday, right? <laughs> you know they say on Monday we wear pink? Well, on Monday we wear purple now because I'm gonna wear this a lot, and I'm specifically gonna wear it on Mondays. Any time that I have to go out on a Monday, I wanna wear this because it is so soft, so comfortable. I've just got it tucked in, but it does also come down you know, about that length. This is awesome. I can't recommend this highly enough. This is so, so much nicer than the one that I got on Pretty Little Thing. Like it's way better quality, feels so much nicer. I think that you can see the word Monday all right. It does kind of get obscured, the M and the Y, but at least it's just under. At least it's not turd. <laughs> so this one's great. I'm so excited about this. This is another one that was a two piece you could yeah. buy separately. It was a set that you could buy separately. But the shorts were sold out, so I could only get the top. I'm so sad because this is absolutely adorable. Check it out. This is called the Shooting Star Denim Top. It is $36. It's real denim. It looks so cute. You can see the little star cutouts there. I think it's absolutely adorable. My only problem is, I got a small, but I, I think I really should have got an extra small, and I don't even think that they had extra small on the website, but this looks like it's going to be way too big for me, so I think I'm gonna have to sell this one. Okay, so like I said, I think the extra small would have been much better for me. This one is just way too big. It's sort of gaping open at the sides here. I don't know, maybe if I put it in the dryer for a while, it might shrink possibly, but look, aside from the size problem, this is so cute. Look at these adorable little details here. I think the color of the denim is really nice. I can tell that it's made really, really well. The straps appear to be detachable. No, the straps are detachable at the front, but not at the back. What is the point of that if it's detachable at the... Look. Like, why? What's the point of that? I mean, is it so that you can cross it over at the back and then do it up at the front? Maybe something like that? It is really cute, just ignore the fact that it's not fitting me properly. I think for $36, this one is definitely, definitely worth it. This is so cute, I love it. I think it'll be easy enough though for me to tailor this. Like, denim seems pretty easy to work with. I think I could give it to Sam and he could probably pull it apart at the sides here and just cinch it in. So hopefully, we can do a DIY project and get this one fitting me properly, because I love it. I feel like I would wear this a lot. Off you go. Hey, get down. This next one is so, so exciting. This is a love heart belt. I actually just got a heart belt from YesStyle and then I also picked up this one, the pink. It's a very similar version to the YesStyle one. I'm glad it's pink though, because the one I got from YesStyle was black. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. This is, oh, look, do you think it's cute? Look, what do you think? What do you think? This belt is only $12. Now, oh, it's faux leather. And I think for $12, that's absolutely 100% worth it. It is so, so cute. Okay, I figure I may as well try this belt on with these blue pants, so then you can see it. This belt is one size, so we'll see how it goes for me. Oh, so for my waist, I'm gonna need to punch a few more holes in it. Uh, it's That's where the last hole is, and it would probably do up there for me. If I wore it on the hip, it would be fine. It's not really intended to be worn on the hip, it's more meant to be worn up here. So I think that I'll probably have to punch a few more holes in it. But it is a very, yeah. very pretty belt. How nice is that? I love that so much. I think it's so cute. Hello. Hello. Did you just say, what are you? I'm putting 
nothing actually on the shelf today because I obviously don't have any ah! sleeves on and the claws hurt the shoulders a lot. So this next one is called the Ringer Set. Hey, hey, you are so bad. Up, up, up. Bad bird. Here, look, you can just sit on my head if you're so worried. I can't have him on my shoulders, it'll just hurt too much. Up. Yeah, so this is a $36 set. Now this feels really, really nice. It's kind of like, not velvety, but it is very, very soft. <laughs> it is super soft. I'm really excited to try this on because I feel like if this fits me and it looks nice, I'm going to wear this a lot. You're back so soon, huh? The colour does look a tiny bit darker than what it looked on the website, but that's okay, like, if I take pictures with it, I can always lighten the pictures up a little tiny bit and then it'll fit my aesthetic, at least in photos. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! This is without a doubt my favourite thing so far. This is so soft, I can't even begin to tell you guys. Wow, like, oh my goodness, I don't know what this fabric is, but it's amazing. It's, it's thin. It feels suede and velvety, but it's not suede and it's not velvet. Ah. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. I think I'll wear ah. this a lot at home. If I was the sort of person that ever exercised, I would wear this to exercise, possibly. But I feel like it's a bit too nice to do that. Like, it's too lovely and I would just want to keep it pristine and precious to lounge around in and feel like a fancy lady at home. I think this is so stylish and so flattering. It's got a hood on it as well. And the hood is luckily not one of those tiny hoods that's not actually meant to be worn. Oh, I love this so much. Wow. I think for $36, this two-piece set, no one would be disappointed with this. I'm telling you, it is thin, but it's not thin so you can see through it. It's just a, a lightweight kind of fabric, but it's a very, very soft, luxurious fabric. So. Yeah, this is perfect. I adore this. This is absolutely, aside from the denim two-piece set, this other pink two-piece set is my other favourite item. I guess it's called the ringer because it's kind of like a, almost like a boxing set. Archie! Now they said in their email that, Awesome fact, did you know with every order from your fans that is purchased from Honeybum, we plant flowers to help maintain a happy bee community and promote sustainable life for the bees. We stand a brand that uh, supports sustainability. Can you get off? Archie, no, that's not for chewing. Come here, you come here now. What do you think you're doing? Look at this. Why are you so bad? Were you born bad? Or were you raised bad? Did I raise you badly? Hmm? <laughs> This next one is called the Holla for a Dollar striped dress. Is this a funny boo-boo dress? This is a $28 dress. Now again, I think $28 for something so small, like it's a very small bit of fabric. $28 could be a little bit much, but it does feel very nice. The fabric is kind of like a knitted, you know, very, very soft feeling fabric. It looks quite thick too, so I don't think you'll be able to see my undies through it, but we'll have to wait and see. I think this is adorable. It did look very, very nice on the model, so I hope it looks good on me too. Uh, I'm gonna need that back now. No. 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 Sorry. loves this dress and so do I. I think this is so nice. I feel like this is very, very flattering. People sometimes say stripes make you look lighter, but I think in this case they kind of cinch in my waist and they accentuate my hips and it's just really, really flattering. Archie, please don't break that. I love this so much. The colour is beautiful. The cut is beautiful. I... No! No! You're rude. I think that it's really flattering. I feel like I won't get that much wear out of it because I don't tend to wear very, very short things out of the house a lot. However, this is the sort of thing I would wear in a lot of my review videos. I would put it on and then show you guys clothes and stuff while I'm wearing it because it, I think on camera it looks really, really nice. But I'm just not so good at wearing really short things out of the house. I just don't really tend to do it very often. But if you like to go clubbing or if you just like wearing short dresses, 
You would love this so much. This is so pretty and it's really, really soft too. And you can't see through it. You can't see my undies. So this is like 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite things. I've been really liking almost every single pink thing that I've tried on. So uh, who would have thought Honeybum is a great place to find pretty pink clothes. I love it. So many people suggested this next item, you would not believe. I think I had at least 100 or 200 DMs suggesting these. These are called the Cotton Candy Camo Sweatpants. Ow, your claws are hurting. As you know, if you watch my channel a lot, I never wear clothes like this. I don't really wear sweatpants at all. But hey, this haul was all about you guys, not necessarily about me. So I'm sure some of you will love this. If you love that kind of like lounging around or sporty kind of vibe, blue, pink, and white is my absolute favorite combination ever. I'm really excited to try these on. They feel fantastic. And they're only $28. And I think for the feel of these, that is definitely worth it. What do you reckon? Am I Tana Monjo yet? Okay guys, I'm shook. I am the shookest. I am shooketh. These are really, really cool. I adore them. I think they're really stylish. I don't normally wear anything sporty, but I almost feel like I should just turn myself into a story time channel and become Tana Mojo because these are awesome. I think Tana and a few of those other badass Insta baddie kind of girls wear pants like this and I never thought I'd say it, but I think I'm gonna wear these a lot. The colors are just too adorable. These are too nice to not wear all over the place. Do you like them, Archie? What do you think? Wanna come see? What do you think? Do you like them? Do you like these pants? Yes? They're so cool. I feel like, ah, uh, I feel like a pastel Instagram baddie princess. I don't even know. They do kind of look like cotton candy and they make me want to go eat something sugary. single ladies dress and I'm noticing a theme with the naming convention here. It seems as though a lot of these things are named after famous songs. So uh, the single ladies dress, I hope that I'm a queen bee when I try this one on. Now this is what I was talking about when I said fabrics that don't crease. Dresses like this, no matter how much you scrunch this up, it's just going to sit beautifully. It's not going to crease or anything. So this really, really excites me. I'm really keen to try this on. I think the sleeves look very, very flattering. This is a $34 dress, and from the feel of it, $34 seems reasonable. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty, but it's not very forgiving at all. I feel really like self-conscious wearing this because I feel like it's way too tight across my tummy. <laughs> it's called the single ladies dress. I think that uh, you wouldn't be a single lady for very long if you were walking around in this because this would help you uh, get some attention, that's for sure, if you're looking for someone. I think these sleeves are gorgeous. I feel really glam. Like if I stand just here and then I can't see this part of my tummy, I feel like this is awesome. Like. This is so, so pretty. Can you see it probably? Ooh. I love how it cinches in here. I think it's beautiful. But then when I stand back, I just feel like, oh, it's too tight here and I don't like it. If you're like me and you don't really like super, super tight things around your stomach, then you could maybe size up a little bit and it might loosen it up around there. But then it would also loosen it up around here. So, you know what? There's nothing that a good pair of Spanx can't fix. So I suppose if you wore like Spanx underneath, it'd be really, really nice and smooth. But that is the thing with these sort of dresses and this sort of fabric, it is not forgiving and it clings to every little teeny tiny bump and lump. I do love this a lot. I just feel like this is the sort of thing you need to figure out what you're gonna wear underneath it, whether it's a G-string, something nude, whatever. And then, yeah, I think that you can definitely work with this. It's a really, really pretty dress and I feel really like sophisticated and glam wearing it. I think this would be really, really nice dressed up with heels and some nice accessories and stuff like that. So yeah, this one is great. And for the price, it's $34. So I think that this one's worth it just because of how lovely it is. 
Okay, this one is called the Love Was Easy set. Now this is a $52 set, and to me, that's a lot of money. I wouldn't usually spend $52 on a set of a two-piece, like quite small piece of clothing. So hopefully this blows me away because $52 is a lot. It's got this cute little yellow skirt. It's the high-waisted skirt. Now I, I am trying to incorporate more yellow into my wardrobe, so I'm excited to put this on, but $52 for these two pieces. It's a skirt and a crop. Can you let go? No, no, what? naughty boy, get, get. It does look like it'll be beautiful, but $52 is a lot. Okay, well, I don't want to sound rude or ungrateful with what I'm about to say, but honey bum, I don't think this is worth over $50. Like this sort of set, if you can do that ringer set for $36 or $38 or whatever it was, you could do this for a similar price because this is lovely, but it's not very much fabric. It's not the best quality fabric and that's very expensive. This does look awesome. I think this is a really, really pretty set. I feel like I should be, you know, like doing a salsa dance or something wearing this. It's really, really cute. And I think the yellow looks nice with my red hair. So I do think that I'll wear this a lot, but I wouldn't buy this for $52. I mean, if you guys see this on me and then you're like, wow, that's so pretty, I want that too. Just think about what $52 can buy you. Like you could buy a lot for $52. But that being said, if you're like, that is the perfect set, I've always wanted something like that, then yeah, grab it. I think for, for a very small amount of fabric, and it's just kind of like a crepey material, I don't think $52 is worth it. But it is such a pretty design. Like, I think that I'll wear this uh, a lot. You'll probably see this in videos, and you'll see it in photos and stuff, but I just, I wouldn't pay that much money for it, but I'm very glad that I was given it for free, because I do adore it. Let me know what you think below. Do you think that this is worth $52? Let me know what you think. This next one is called the Empty Glass Striped Dress. Now I think that this is very similar in style to what the other one, the other striped dress was. This doesn't have the buttons down the front though. I love spaghetti straps. Now as you know, this isn't really my colour palette. I don't really wear a lot of black or grey or anything like that. But this one was again suggested to me a lot. So I think a lot of you guys probably like this style and this these sort of shades. <sighs> See, I almost said colour but I got a... <laughs> absolutely scalded by that many people when I called black a colour a couple of videos ago. So if you like this shade, this seems like a very, very nice dress. This is again $28. So I think that's pretty reasonable because this feels very thick and I feel like he's going to chew through those straps, so uh, no. Okay guys, this dress has me thinking that I should add greyish black to my wardrobe because I think this looks really, really good. I do love this design. I think it's so flattering with the spaghetti straps and this neckline that goes straight across like this. Again, I think that the stripes cinch me in at the waist and make my hips look wider. So I think it's very, very flattering. It has two layers of fabric inside. So it's very comfortable and you don't have to worry about it being sheer. It's really thick, really nice. It feels really, really good. This one is worth the price for sure. See, this is a $28 dress. If I saw this in a shop, I would pay anywhere up to like $40 for it because it does feel really, really good. I think that this one could go up in price. The yellow set could come down in price. If you were the sort of person that went to a lot of parties, you went out to the city, you went clubbing. This is the sort of thing that if I was that sort of person, I would wear this a lot. I would wear it all over the place. So yeah, this one I think is definitely worth it. I love like it a lot and I hope that you guys like it too. Good boy. Yellow. So this one is called the put it all on me dress. This is a $32 dress. Ooh, $32. It actually has boning inside or like a ribbing. Like it's a piece of something very very hard on the inside to help it keep its shape. Now that's good. I appreciate that. So I can see why this one is a little bit more expensive. I can see why this is a bit more expensive than some of the others because I feel like it'll hold its shape very, very nicely. Okay guys, this dress, I think this is lovely. I've been looking for a really, really nice yellow dress for a little while now, and I think I've finally found it. I love this. I think it's really flattering. I think that the cut is really, really nice, and I think it suits me really well. I love the boning on the inside because it means that it'll hold its shape. Now, before I forget, uh, Honeybum has actually given me a 20% off discount code. It's not an affiliate code, but it means that if you decide to buy anything, it'll be 20% off. So the code is XOPPP, so XO Pretty Pastel Please. 
So yeah, if you'd like to buy anything that you see today, you can use that 20% off. So thank you Honey Bun for offering that for my subscribers, that's really nice of you. So anyway, yeah, this dress, this is absolutely worth it. I can see why it's a few dollars more than some of the others because it's really form-fitting, it's got that boning on the inside. The knit, it's got a really, really nice texture, a really nice pattern on it. I know you probably can't see. Can you see? It's got this really nice sort of pattern on it here. So I'm obsessed. I'm going to wear this a lot. I think I've finally found my perfect yellow dress. I think it's a really nice length. I think it's very flattering. Oh, I think it's so cute. Yeah, this is perfect. I love this one. Do you like it? Do you think it's pretty? Look, what a good trick. What a great trick. Hmm? Look at this foot. <laughs> Can you do a handstand? Wow. It's adorable and amazing and I think this is a perfect yellow dress. It's a really nice length. It's a really nice shape. Really nice style. Yeah, this is awesome. I love it so much. What do you think, Archie? Do you like it? Oh, big shake. Are you a fluffy birdie? Are you a fluffy birdie? Look who's that? Do you see that birdie? Do you see the birdie? Oh! <gasps> what? What? What do you want? Yes, I'm wearing eyelashes. I know, I look so different. Wow. Archie is uh, still waiting for me to find a green dress. Hello darkness, my old friend. Last but not least, this is called the Where You At Pullover. <laughs> This was again very highly suggested. I guess it's something about the color palette of pink and white together. People must really, really like that. This is good for me right now because it's winter in Australia. This is a $22 sweater. It's got these gigantic sleeves that have these big pink fuzzy bits on them. So it is a bit unusual. I think it's definitely unique in that style. So it's kind of short. So it's sort of in between a crop and a full length sweater. Not so sure how I feel about this based on the first impressions. It does seem a little bit thin, but I'm excited to see what these sleeves look like. Okay, there's no tags anywhere in this, so I don't know which way is the front and which way is the back. I can't really tell, but hopefully it's the same either way. This is kind of cool. I'm actually digging these big sleeves. I, I wasn't sure what I thought about it, but I actually think it looks really, really good. I like how puffy they are and I like the way that, you know, it's kind of like attention grabbing but subtle at the same time. I think it's really stylish. It's very comfortable. The fabric isn't particularly thick. It wouldn't be that warm in winter, at least the body part. The sleeves would definitely be warm. This fur stuff is so soft. It's faux fur, but it feels really, really nice. Archie's obsessed with things that are furry. He just loves them. No, can you please? No, no chomp. No chomp. What a bad boy. He's such a bad boy. Go away. Anyway, this is super cute. I do love this one. I think tucked into a skirt, this is really nice, or with a pair of jeans, whatever. Uh, this one's great. Okay guys, well that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and maybe subscribe and switch on notifications. We have a lot of other haul videos coming out soon. If you ever want me to review a particular brand, don't forget to drop it below because I'm always on the lookout for new places to check out. If you want to find us on Instagram, you can find me at Pretty Pastel Please and you can find Archie at Archie Eclectus. You can also find me on Twitter, Pretty Pastel PLS, because the word please wouldn't fit. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!